We're following some breaking news right now out of Opelika, where investigators are looking into a fire at a junkyard. Chopper 4 showing us the scene from above before firefighters arrived. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live on the ground with the latest from first responders. Gary. Well, they are in mop-up mode here on Clare Lane in Opelika right now. It was quite the spectacular blaze that erupted a little after 9 o'clock this morning. Firefighters were a bit delayed in getting here. Flames shot high in the morning air at the quadruple A car recycling plant in Opelika. The blaze erupting about 9.30 when workers using a welding torch sparked it up. These fires can be particularly dangerous because cars contain lots of stuff that can burn and explode. There's a lot of flammable equipment. There's always gas and oil left over in these vehicles. The tires uh, can explode. Uh, the, the contaminants, the carcinogens that the kind of fire puts out. The owner of the junk lot says help was seriously delayed by the roadway that's unpaved with lots of deep holes and mud. The firefighter, they take too long to get in here because of the condition of the street. If no asking to the firefighter, they, get, they take too long to get in here because of the street. But you can tell uh, with your own video that I'm sure you shot of the road conditions that it is in pretty bad conditions and our large pieces of fire equipment do have a difficult time accessing. The owner hasn't gauged his losses yet, but junked cars are worth the sum of their parts, which can amount to a pretty penny. Now, owners of the businesses in this industrial area of Opelika, an eight-block stretch of Clare Lane, uh, can't expect to get their street uh, fixed, paved anytime soon. The reason being that Opelika, famous for uh, uh, corruption, fell into the brink of bankruptcy, actually was very much in debt. A couple of years ago, the governor had to appoint a special board to come in and run the city that at the moment pretty much doesn't have two nickels to rub together. So paving the roads are going to have to wait. We're live in Opelika. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.